Hey, what's up, hey, Operation iDroid here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to stream, aka broadcast, your iOS device's screen running iOS 9 and above, without a jailbreak or a computer. This is the first streaming application of its kind on iOS 9, and is truly innovative. However, as of the release of this video, it's still in beta stages, and may have a few bugs here and there. Nonetheless, this is a video that has been highly requested by tons of my viewers, and I hope you all are excited to learn how to stream your iPhone, iPad, or iPad. If so, please hit that like button as I tried my best to make this tutorial clear and easy to follow. Now, without any further ado, let's head into the tutorial. Alright, streaming your iOS device is very simple, but it does require an application called AirShow, as you can see I have here. However, if you do not have AirShow, I have a video linked in the description and you can click on the card here to watch that video and learn how to get it. However, it does require an invitation code and I'm gonna release a few invitation codes here. As you can see, there will be more invitation codes in the comment section below so you can check those out as well because if you're not one of the first 100 people to watch this video, you probably missed the ones that are on screen because once they're used once, they're taken. Nevertheless, if your Airshow application does not have the broadcast option like mine does, go ahead and open your iEmulators application or open Safari and type in the URL iEmulators.com, go to apps, click on Airshow, go to the Airshow specific page and download Airshow again because you need to get the latest Airshow that has access to the broadcasting feature which originally was not available when Airshow first came out and is why I'm making this video because my original video only showed how to record while this one shows how to stream. So with that being said, once the show application is done installing, go ahead and open it and you'll now see that you have the broadcast feature available just as I have here. To broadcast, all you have to do is click on broadcast and just title whatever you want to title your broadcast and then choose the game that you're going to play so that other users using the applications can find you based on the game that you're playing. As well as you can also choose the server which it's always best to have closest to you and the quality which you should have at high if your internet allows you to stream at high. If your stream is lagging then you're probably going to want to put it at medium. Nonetheless, once you have your settings all figured out, all you have to do is hit the broadcast button and start broadcasting by hitting next step. Now, once you hit next step, it'll prompt you to put your screen into airplane mode just like if you were doing a recording. So go ahead and bring up the control center, click on airplay, select your airshore server, turn mirroring on and then hit done but the first time you stream it'll automatically crash I don't know why that happens but on two devices I tried it always crashed the first time however when I tried it the second time it works just as you can see I'm going to do here and just like that you're broadcasting on the show application and on the URL right below the time as you can see in there so if you don't know what the show application is, it's that app that you downloaded when you first got Air Show. And here you can find tons of others that are also streaming their games and you can search them by games just as I'm doing here. I go to Minecraft and I can actually find myself streaming here. So as you can see, I'm live now and it shows exactly what I was doing before. Um, and I'm streaming to the world or anybody that visits the link that was at the start of the recording or goes to the show application. Now you can also chat with your viewers by clicking on the chat button which will take you to the show application and of course you can say whatever you'd like but once you're done broadcasting all you have to do is hit stop and it'll stop broadcasting just like that. So your broadcast won't go into your local recordings uh, they go straight to the show application where you can record over them if you'd like but if not then your broadcast will always be on the show app if you ever want to look back at it and that's pretty much how you stream your ios device unfortunately you can only stream to the show application or the show website there's no way to stream to like twitch or anything like that but i mean hey it's still something and I hope you guys will enjoy streaming your iOS device and if you'd like to learn how to record using the Airshow application and create a YouTube channel, you can click on the card that I mentioned earlier or follow the link in the description below to do so. 
I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, then please hit that like button as it helps out the video tremendously. As well as, if you're new, don't forget to subscribe because I make awesome tutorials like this one every week. And as always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and welcome to the operation.